Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation. Square root of 11 minus x over 1 plus x is equal to x minus 5. We need to find all possible values of x. Since uh, this expression 11 minus x is under square root, so this 11 minus x must be greater than or equal to 0. And if we move this uh, negative x to the right hand side, then 11 must be greater than or equal to x. It means x must be less than or equal to 11. This is the domain of this equation we use to check the solutions of this equation. Now, let us continue. If we multiply both sides by 1 plus x, this implies that square root of 11 minus x is equal to x minus 5 times 1 plus x. Next, square root of 11 minus x is equal to x times 1 x and x times plus x plus x squared. Negative 5 times 1 negative 5 negative 5 times plus x negative 5 x. Next, square root of 11 minus x is equal to we write this x squared first x squared and this uh, 1 x minus 5 x will become negative 4 x and this minus 5 minus 5 next square root of 11 minus x is equal to x squared no, we want to make this expression x squared minus 4x a perfect scale. So, we write this in negative 4x as negative 2 times x times 2. To complete the square, we add 2 squared in this expression minus this 5 and to balance this 2 squared, we subtract 4 x square root of 11 minus x is equal to by using this uh, algebraic identity a squared minus uh, 2 a b plus b squared is equal to a minus b whole squared. This uh, x squared minus 2 times x times 2 plus uh, 2 squared will become x minus 2 whole squared and this negative 5 minus 4 will become negative 9. x square root of this 11 can be written as 9 plus 2 minus x is equal to x minus 2 whole squared minus 9 next square root of we rearrange these terms 9 then we write this negative x negative x plus 2 is equal to x minus 2 whole squared minus 9 now because at right hand side we have x minus 2 so we write this expression as square root of 9 we use negative sign before parenthesis this is negative x plus 2 will become x minus 2 is equal to x minus 2 whole squared minus 9 now here we have x minus 2 and here we have x minus 2 so we suppose that let x minus 2 is equal to m We replace uh, every x minus 2 with m, then this equation will become square root of 9 minus m is equal to m squared minus 9. From here, we take uh, square of uh, both sides. 
So this square will be cancelled out with this square root and at left hand side we are left with the 9 minus m is equal to m squared minus 9 whole squared. And from here we subtract uh, m squared from both sides 9 minus m and we subtract uh, m squared from the left hand side is equal to m squared minus 9 whole squared and we subtract uh, m squared from the right hand side. Now we rearrange these terms we write this uh, negative m squared first negative m squared then we write this negative m negative m plus 9 is equal to we have difference of uh, two squares so by using this uh, algebraic identity a squared minus uh, b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b this will become m squared minus 9 plus m times m squared minus 9 minus m. Now we take a negative sign outside the parentheses then this will become negative times m squared plus m minus 9 is equal to we rearrange these terms we write m squared first then we write this plus m plus m minus 9 times we rearrange these terms m squared minus m minus 9 now we move this uh, negative expression to the right hand side then this will become m squared plus uh, m minus 9 times m squared minus m minus 9 this uh, negative expression will become positive plus m squared plus uh, m minus 9 is equal to 0. Now as you can see this expression m squared plus m minus 9 m squared plus m minus 9 is a common factor. So we factor out this m squared plus uh, m minus 9 and uh, in bracket left uh, in bracket left uh, this uh, m squared minus m minus 9 and plus 1 from here in bracket left m squared minus m minus 9 plus 1 is equal to 0 next m squared plus m minus 9 times m squared minus m this is negative 9 plus 1 will become negative 8 is equal to 0. From here either this expression m squared plus uh, m minus 9 is equal to 0 or this expression m squared minus m minus 8 is equal to 0. From this quadratic equation we have a is equal to 1 b is equal to 1 and c is equal to negative 9 and according to quadratic formula m is equal to negative 1 plus minus square root of in place of b squared we write 1 squared minus 4 times in place of a we write 1 times in place of c we write negative 9 divided by 2 times in place of a we write 1 next m is equal to negative 1 plus minus square root of this uh, 1 squared is 1 negative 4 times 1 times negative 9 plus 36 divided by 2 times 1 2 and m is equal to negative 1 plus minus uh, root 1 plus 36 37 divided by 2 and from this quadratic equation we have a is equal to 1 
b is equal to negative 1 and c is equal to negative a and according to quadratic formula m is equal to negative times negative 1 plus minus square root of in place of b squared we write negative 1 squared minus 4 times in place of a we write 1 times in place of c we write negative a divided by 2 times in place of a we write 1 next m is equal to negative times negative 1 will become positive 1 plus or minus square root of this negative 1 squared is 1 negative 4 times 1 times negative 8 plus 32 divided by 2 times 1 2 and m is equal to 1 plus minus root 1 plus 32 33 divided by 2 now recall that we have supposed We have supposed that uh, x minus 2 is equal to m. We have supposed that uh, x minus 2 is equal to m. So, when m is equal to this value, then this equation will become x minus 2 is equal to negative 1 plus minus root 37 divided by 2. We move this in negative 2 to the right hand side then this will become x is equal to negative 1 plus minus root 37 divided by 2. This in negative 2 will become plus 2 at the right hand side. Now we can write the denominator of this to 1 and x will be equal to we take LCM of this 2 and this one the LCM is the LCM is 2 and 2 divided by 2 1 1 time this expression negative 1 plus minus root 37 plus 2 divided by 1 2 2 times this 2 4 x x is equal to this is negative 1 plus 4 will become 3 plus minus root 37 over 2. This is the first and second value of x. Now, when m is equal to this value, then this equation will become x minus 2 is equal to 1 plus minus root 33 divided by 2 and we move this negative 2 to the right hand side then this will become x is equal to 1 plus minus root 33 divided by 2 this negative 2 will become plus 2 at right hand side. Now we can write the denominator of this to 1 and we take uh, LCM of uh, this 2 and this 1. The LCM is LCM of 2 and 1 is 2. 2 divided by 2 1. 1 times this expression 1 plus minus root 33 plus 2 divided by 1 2. 2 times this 2 4. Next x is equal to this 1 plus this 4 will become 5 plus minus uh, root 33 divided by 2. This is the third and fourth value of uh, x. So, we have uh, four values of x. Now, let us uh, verify these values of x. To verify these values, uh, we use the domain x must be less than or equal to 11.
the domain of this equation is x must be less than or equal to 11. So, this uh, 3 plus uh, root 37 over 2 or 3 minus uh, root 37 over 2 is less than 11. So, these two solutions are valid. Now, this uh, 5 plus root 33 over 2 or 5 minus root 33 over 2 is less than 11. So, these two solutions are also valid. So, we have four solutions of this equation.